Welcome to another Community Conversation. I'm your host, Ian Parkinson, and I'm glad to have back the Executive Director of the Medicine Hat Health Foundation, Heather Back. Welcome back, Heather. Thank you. So this is a busy month fundraising for you. You've got quite the list. What's yeah, coming up first? Yeah, October is crazy busy right now. Um, we actually have, um, we joined a provincial um, group. There's 30 health foundations in the province of Alberta that have joined together to create um, a lottery per se. It's called Split the Pot. Okay. And so um, there's early bird prizes. The deadlines are every Thursday at midnight and then the winners are announced every Monday. And so we're doing that from now until early November, I think. The last draw is announced November 18th, I believe. And so the early birds are, are announced every Monday. And then at the end, that November 18th is a grand prize and three people are awarded whatever the pot is left. So I checked this morning and the pot was at 70,000. So it grows throughout yeah. that time frame. The bigger the pot, the, the bigger the, the prize will be. And um, yeah, so there, and so the fun part about Split the Pot is you can go in and select to support all the health foundations or you can select a specific health foundation such as Medicine Hat. So you can put your, so what'll happen is um, the winners get the portion, but so do the foundations will get a portion as well. well so done. it's sort of a win-win for everybody. We're, we're hoping to make the pot bigger, making it provincial so that the winners will get bigger prizes. And you have other fundraisers going on as well. Yes, so November 20th, we have um, Walk to Remember. It's an annual walk we've been doing for a number of years. It's actually um, for infant and pregnancy loss. Mm. Um, it's a, um, a beautiful day um, in, we go to Police Point Park. We do ask that people uh, pre-register so you can go to our website and find a place to register. Um, and so what we do is we do have a bit of a, a program if you so choose to be part of the program, but it's also a time to, for families to reflect and remember their lost loved ones. Um, in some cases, it's a chance for people to connect and find supports. So we have families that have maybe lost a, um, an infant or a baby 35 years ago. Mm -hmm. And we've had some that in some cases, it's a week old. So they're looking for people to support them. So it's a great chance to connect with people and reflect. We actually, if people choose to share baby's name, we put it along the walking path so mm -hmm. families can uh, can honor and, and reflect during that time. So it's just, and it's a beautiful fall day to get out and about. So uh, we invite anyone to come join us. You don't have to even join us. You can just come down and watch from afar. We don't yeah. care. It's still a beautiful day to, to spend at Police Point Bar. And you have something called Seeds of Change. Seeds of Change. That's a new one for us. Um, Seeds of Change is actually um, a legacy conversation. So the storm chasers, as you've probably heard, are coming to visit soon. And so he also does talks on legacy. And so he's going to come do a, a bit of a 45 minute guest talk on leaving a legacy and his idea of leaving a legacy. But then we're going to have um, a panel. So we're going to have a lawyer, an accountant, investment advisor, an insurance um, people there to uh, have a bit of a discussion on the value of leaving a gift in your will or a gift uh, within your estate. So it's something Canada is not really well known for, believe it or not. But mm. in the UK, as an example, that that's who Canada used actually as their example was the UK. 16% uh, of um, all residents in the UK do leave a gift in their will and their estate. So that's very... Um, it's a huge way to support a charity. So maybe you are, maybe you're living paycheck to paycheck, or maybe you're on fixed income, but upon your death, you'd be surprised what 1%, 2%, 10% would mean to a charity. It actually can be a, a, a great impact. So it's an evening of, um, of having those conversations and learning how you can support your favorite charity or learning all the different methods and, and ways that you can do it in through your estate planning. I was going to say, because I, not being a, either a lawyer or an accountant, there must be a difference between a gift and an endowment. Yeah, oh, 100%. <laughs> yes, yeah. Yeah, 
Yeah, so you can leave an outright gift in your estate. So you can leave a lump sum money. You can do it by percentage. A lot of people will split, my kids get this, this, and this, and the rest goes to charity. There's so many different ways to do bequests. Um, and, and now the new one that I'm really not very familiar with is actually, um, you can buy a life insurance policy and name the charity as the beneficiary, believe it or not. So mm. yeah, so I'm not really very familiar with it, but it's another way upon your death that that policy will go to the charity and your estate will get. X amount of dollars. Yep, yep. So it's kind mm. of what we're trying to do is either you're either gonna give the government money because no matter what, when you pass away, you're doing final taxes and you're gonna pay taxes. So yes. either give the money to the government or give the money to your favorite charity. And we're trying to give everybody options on, on how to do that. And you could also, I would imagine, designate the your favorite department. That's right, yes, yeah, absolutely you can, yeah. Uh, we had one, um, someone in the past that did it to hospital beds. They, they passed away and they left us a big lump sum to buy, I think we bought five different hospital beds. Hmm. Yeah, so there's all kinds of things you can do. Actually, didn't you just have a last, during the summer, a fundraiser for the, was it pediatrics or the neonatal? Um, we're working on one right, well, our Wheels of Hope did a pediatric one. Um, they raised some toys. Um, they bike ride to Brooks and then and then um, bought toys for us. But we're also doing, um, oh goodness, what's it called? It's, we're trying to get people. So what we like to do in peds is, peds is a, they're little guys. Yeah. They're under 18 um, and it's scary. And that department is very clinical, it's very sterile, it's not friendly, it's not warm, welcoming. Not that it's meant to be, but um, stress doesn't make you healthier. Yes. <laughs> so we want them to feel comfortable, and so we're trying to one by one give each patient room a bit of um, pizzazz. I don't wanna say we're decorating it because it's still gotta be a hospital room, but we're trying to add pictures to it. So in one case, we're, we're, uh, we've done pets, um, we have a, a ship room, we have a music room, and right now we're trying to create a superheroes room. Oh. So we're asking people to take pictures of themselves, their kids, their pets, we don't care, um, in superhero costume, and we, we'd like to put the pictures on, on the wall just to give the kids something fun and silly to look at and talk about and, and distract them a little bit and help them get healthier. Yeah, because one of your Wheels of Hope fundraisers was a big video game player. No, that was actually the college. Oh. Um, the college has a, a new a program, and I'm not going to remember it, but it's um, and it's I believe it's part of the events program. And so their marketing um, class um, put together a fundraiser to raise money for this great big. It was uh, five thousand dollars for this gaming console. So we basically we wheel it into patients' rooms. They get to play with it, and when they're done, we wheel it to the next room or we put it back in storage. So same idea, help the kids pass yeah. the time. We don't want to encourage screen time, but sometimes you just need a distraction. You just take your mind off yeah. the issues of yeah. the day. Absolutely. So I have on my list here something called impact report. Yeah. Yeah, that's something we do um, annually. Most like corporations do annual reports. We do an impact report because we believe the most important thing is that we report back to the community how their donations are being spent. So annually, we um, every September, we bring out this report and show everyone how, how their monies were spent this year. So ours was recently released. Um, we do have hard copies, but we typically don't get them out unless you ask. But you can go to our website or our social media and find a link to, to view it online. But if you want a hard copy, we'll gladly send you one as well. So yeah, it, it's highlighting not everything because you can't get everything in one book, yeah. but some of the key things that we think people would be interested in, in learning about. Anything else in the books between now and say Christmas? Oh goodness, the list goes on and on and on. <laughs> you know, like the Tigers are hosting um, I'm calling it breast cancer awareness night, but they're calling it pink in the rink. Yes. Um, we'll probably be, the teddy bear toss will be here before you know it. 
Um, there's so many things going on. We're gonna partake in the Women in Business Expo and the Comic Book Expo will be at both of those events. So there's so, it's hard to keep up right now. October is a crazy month. Which is why we've had you here twice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, is there anything else you'd like to add? Um, not that I can think of today. Um, if somebody wants to make a donation, a gift, an endowment, uh, stop by and pick up a hard copy, of, yeah. how do they find yeah, it? Yeah, you can visit it. We're actually right inside the hospital. If you go into the, I call it the revolving door, it seems to be the simplest explanation. It's the east entrance. Um, we're, our office is right inside there. Um, if you just go up the ramp, we're right at the top of the ramp. That's where you can find us. You can call us, 403-528-8133. People do still use the phone. Of course, um, <laughs> social media, the website, all of that, you can always, if you reach out, we'll find a way to get a hold of you. Excellent. Well, I wish you well, as always. Good Thank luck. You. You're doing great work. Thanks. And we'll, we'll have you back in again in a couple of months. Sounds great. All right. Thank you, Heather. Take, take care. Thank you for watching.